Hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. Today we're going to be looking at a TS100 soldering iron. These are wonderful little bits of kit. Um, I've been quite impressed with it actually. So what I'm going to try and show you is how you can use it uh, battery operated soldering iron to work with small electronic components and also some reasonably thick cables. This thing does all that goes all the way from a sort of 17 watts up to 60 watts or less than 17 watts it's got temperature control and all that kind of stuff and anyway here it is here's the box yes the uh unboxing i've got a guest with me in the studio today who's matthew and matthew has a channel what's the name of your channel oh, i've forgotten actually um uh, uh i was gonna say reckless engineer and that's yours no that's my mine's dubious Oh, yours is, yours yeah. is reckless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Anyway, so in the box, we've got an Allen key. We've got a couple of screws. And uh, Matthew, by the way, is uh, also an electronics enthusiast. In fact, does it as part of his job. So uh, he's had a little play with the iron earlier. There's a couple of screws uh, in, in, and an Allen key. I don't know why I'm showing you this, but uh, there we go. Spare screws and an Allen wrench. Um, and the, the key thing really is, is, is this bit, is the driver. It's all open source, so you can put your own code on there. It's powered by a little barrel jack. Uh, it doesn't come with a cable, uh, point to note. So you have to find your own little barrel jack connector. I've got one with a couple of crocodile clips on it. And um, you can update the source, you update the firmware in this and make it do all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. It's got an OLED display on the front of it, a couple of buttons, and you plug in the uh, iron tips. And you can get a variety of different iron tips for it. I bought the cheap one with just the single iron tip uh, option. But um, yeah, so uh, what we're going to do is get on and do a little bit of soldering in a few minutes and just sort of show you how this thing performs and it does actually perform quite well so far i've been quite impressed with it um what uh, what kind of uh, numbers have we got here then so the operating voltage is 12 volts and um it uh, goes up to 24 volts and as i say at 12 volts you've got about 17 watts and 24 volts you've got about 65 watts and and here it all is on the piece of paper that we threw away earlier so there's a little chart little table there with all that information in it and uh, on the right hand side hopefully my finger will go there in a few seconds there it is that's how to do a firmware upgrade uh, so yeah you can indeed uh, with a little micro usb connector plug this into your computer and uh, upgrade the software and do all sorts of kinds of mad wonderful stuff like perhaps profiling and that kind of thing one thing that i did notice about this particular device if you leave it alone uh, turned on for a while it dials back to about 200 degrees when you pick it up it's got a motion sensor in it that then brings it back up to the whatever temperature you've got it set at it comes set default about 300 degrees which is a bit low actually it does melt solder but it's a bit low so um anyway uh key thing then if you haven't seen the solar powered shed, have a look at the solar powered shed. Uh, in the solar powered shed is a lithium ion power wall that I've put together. And uh, there it is. So the idea here, this is a 12 volt lithium ion power wall. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on working on the solar powered shed by using the soldering iron. We've upped the speed of the video a little bit to make things a little bit more interesting. Um, we're going to carry on working on the solar powered shed and put some lighting in place and that kind of stuff, do a bit of soldering work. So um, obviously that's sped up somewhat, uh, but uh, yeah, about 30 seconds or so uh, gets you up to uh, 300 degrees. So the first thing to do um, is to uh, uh, do a test on some big, fat, hairy uh, cable. And uh, uh, hopefully that big, fat, hairy cable will be coming into shot in the near future. Oh, we're just going to up up the uh, temperature 340 degrees so let's get this cable and let's start doing a bit of soldering work and let's join some connectors together and uh, all of that kind of good stuff my solder was quite thin so what i've what i'm doing here is um uh multi Plastic. platting platting solder thank you yeah <laughs> multi-coring the solder so here's an untinned cable it's quite thick it's about as thick as the tip as you can see and um, again, it had absolutely no problems with this and it made a really nice job. Obviously, the, it's multi-flux, multi multi-core solder. So um, the solder works a treat. The soldering iron works a treat. I'm sort of happy with this thing, to be honest with you. About £40 pounds, um, on, on eBay. And, uh, but yeah, it, 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 does, it does do what it says on the tin. It solders stuff. Um, Matt was telling me earlier that occasionally he goes travelling 
and um, he has in the past uh, taken a gas soldering iron with him and uh, the airports don't like that very much so uh, perhaps um, with this guy and a, uh, a lithium ion pack probably not one quite as big as mine but um, maybe one of those little lipo radio control packs uh, uh, you'd get away with that um, anyway that's the solar powered shed so I've put this cable together now the other thing I wanted to do was just uh, demonstrate whether or not this soldering iron um, is capable of soldering small devices so i've got my times three reading glasses i'm getting old now i can't uh, i can't see what i'm doing so well anymore um so the the, the glasses are going on 2.99 from the local co-op something like that and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to whack um one of these chips down what kind of chip is that is that an soic chip uh, I can't see it. I've not got my glasses on. <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to whack down one of these little SOIC type chips, and um, we're just going to see uh, see how we do. Uh, I'm oh my goodness, Mister Bumble, Bumble, a lot of Bumble cree going on here. Um, <laughs> AVR out. Anti-static precautions have been taken. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, that actually, that's a very fair point. The soldering iron does indeed have a, a tab on it that allows you to connect a wire to it, so you can ground the uh, iron tip. Um. <laughs> anyway, so hopefully you will see uh, that my soldering skills are, are pretty bad. Don't tell me I've got that chip is on that, the wrong way round. No, I was just—is that touching there? No. Yeah, yeah, of course it's touching. I mean, where it shouldn't be. Uh, what do you oh, mean? Uh, just down uh, under the soldering iron. Is that... Um... Should, uh, am I touching things I shouldn't be touching? Yeah, I think you might be. Uh, it might be all right. Uh, well, well, hopefully the silk... You might, get, you might the, get away with it. Hopefully the silk screen will take care of it. We'll see how we do. Yeah, anyway. Um, so, come on. This, uh, so, that was the, the deal here was I had the iron set at 300 and um, it really wasn't melting solder very well. So I've turned it up to 340, and now hopefully we'll be able to fly through this a little bit easier. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with this little bad boy. Um, I've asked um, Mrs. Dubious to make a little case for it, uh, to protect it. Um, that's one of the things that it doesn't come with. It does come literally as a soldering iron, and, and not very much comes with it, but... Um, but yeah, anyway, hopefully, as you can see here, we're uh, throwing down some uh, some solder and uh, that chip's going down on the board. Um, yeah, good stuff. I reckon this soldering iron is well, well worth it. This PCB that you're seeing in front of you here um, is a PCB that is a, a, a clock. Uh, it has about 300 LEDs on the other side of it. Clock uh, is being made at some point in the near future. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. As always, um, please uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to throw them down in comments below. Bye for now. Bye. It's, bye. it's goodbye from me. And it's ta from me. <laughs> if you get a chance, pop over and check out Matt's channel. He's no, got some... <laughs> <laughs> what was it called again? Reckless Engineering. Reckless Engineering. Excellent. Cool. Cheers, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.